guys i hope you're all doing amazing today i want to show you how i did this beautiful thermochromatic design uh, if you grew up in the 90s you will remember mood rings uh, they change uh, depending on your temperature but we had this little chart saying which mood we were in but really it was all about temperature so <laughs> it's also known as liquid crystals and a quick disclaimer this is not intended to be a beauty product so do not put this on your natural nails only use this on extensions The liquid crystals also shows up best on a black background, so that is why I'm putting down this coat of black gel polish with my detailer brush. Uh, I wanted it to have a kind of flowy design that worked through all of the nails, so it had like a continuous motion. Once it's fully cured, I'm going ahead and wiping off the dispersion layer with isopropanol alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. Then I'm using this Thermal X cr liquid crystals and it is completely different when it's in the jar, but I promise you, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, that it will look amazing. This stuff air dries, so remember to put the lid back on the jar when you're not using it. Um, also work fairly quickly. Here I've actually just doubled the time of the video, so I'm actually working quite quickly. Make sure that it is opaque, no shadowing, no brush strokes, and don't get it too close to the edge since we're going to cap this. Once I'm done, I'm wiping off my brush and make sure that it is really squeaky clean and there's no product left in there. I'm also putting the lid back on my jar to make sure that the product will stay fresh and last a lot longer. Then I am using my hair dryer on a low setting and this actually took 10 minutes, but thank the Lord for video editing and time lapse mode. Once it's fairly dry, I'm coming in with some primer black from Light Elegance and I'm just painting it on around the corners so that the liquid crystals aren't super super dry yet but I'm just going around the outside and I will be able to put this in my lamp which will also help with the drying process of the liquid crystals since it's very hot in the lamp. So I'm just painting on some cells on the outside making it look a little bit geode-ish.
dispersion layer of the primer black from Light Elegance doesn't have a layer tacky enough for the transfer foil to stick so I'm using some foil transfer gel from Nail Nails that I'm just putting around the edges. I'm not filling in all of the cells, I'm just doing it a little bit randomly over the black. Then I'm curing that again and then I'm using the transfer foil to adhere it to the nail. Uh, remember that the liquid crystals still aren't capped so don't touch it with your bare skin. When everything is fully dry and the design is complete, I'm coming in with some super shiny no wipe top coat and this is the end of the bottle which is why I'm struggling a bit. I'm top coating all of the nails. If this was on a real person I would top coat it twice or cap it in a very thin layer of hard gel. Uh, since this is not a real hand I'm just top coating it once. I'm also doing the underneath of the nail at the same time and I'm curing it for double the time just to make sure everything is completely cured. So here's the finished result. This is in real time after the hand has been taken out of the lamp. As you can see it's very very dark blue when it's hot and then it changes hue to a little bit of green, yellow, some purple. Uh, it looks so cool. I love this effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this set for you guys. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.